Hello, my name is April and welcome to the Yoga Ranger Studio. Everyone wants to think that their day is going to be an inspired day. Who doesn't want to come to the end of the day and say, today was an inspired day. But what if you could make it an inspired day by your practice in the morning using a yin-inspired perspective? So today our practice is all about a yin-inspired morning practice, helping blend yin and flow to help really kind of wake the body up, open the heart, give you a sense of really uplifting energy and bring balance to your energy and to your total body at the very start of the day. The only thing you're gonna need for your practice today, props wise, is one blanket. And in fact, you could probably skip that, but it's kind of helpful for one of our last poses as well as now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start in dragonfly pose. I find that in the mornings this pose really helps open up hamstrings, hips, inner leg. So sit up nice and tall, find your breath here, and then go ahead and bend your knees, let them soften a little bit and fold forward. If you want, you can take those hands out in front, let gravity pull you forward, and then take those palms down. If you have more opening, you can fold all the way down, go ahead and fold all the way down. But I find that first thing in the morning, that is not going to happen for me and maybe not even last thing at night. <laughs> Settle into your breath. Sensing where you feel this in your body today. Sometimes it takes waking up in the morning and setting the tone for your day with a specific intention. Today will be a yin-inspired day. Find that if I start my practice with some yin poses, that he'll really get into those areas that tend to be a little bit more stiff and tight for me personally, that the rest of my day, I move differently. My mobility has dramatically changed. This pose in particular is one that helps me each morning. Start to walk your hands back up. Reach inside both of those knees, pull those feet flat, and go ahead and rock those knees side to side. It can be a certain intensity to dragonfly pose, especially in the morning. So our next pose should feel a lot better. So we're gonna come in at just a child's pose. So take those knees wide, shift the hips back, press the palms. And then go ahead and walk the hands out, keeping the elbows off the floor. Rest your forehead on the floor or on the blanket. You can take those arms wide or hands wide if you feel like you have a lot of tension in the upper back.
reconnecting to your breath and to your intention for your day. Start to lift your head back up. Go ahead and rock on to hands and knees. I'm gonna take cat cow here, super slow. So you're gonna inhale, drop the belly down, roll the shoulders back, lift the chin. And exhale, softly arch and mound, super slow movement through the spine. Inhale, cow tilt. And exhale, super slow into cat arch. Three more with your own breath, moving as slowly as you can, letting the spine elongate. Taking that last cat arch here. And then coming back to center, pressing the mat away from you, stabilizing those shoulders. You're gonna take that left hand, walk it in a little bit, turn that left foot out, and shift into a modified side plank. So we're gonna kind of play with this a little bit. You're gonna inhale, sweep that right arm across the body, up and over the head. Three times, get the shoulders moving a little bit. And we're gonna change directions the other way. Turning to follow your hand, nice and slow. And then reaching out through the crown of the head, palm facing down, stretch through that arm. Find length down the side body. And then exhale back down into your tabletop. Firming up through your hands again here, pressing the mat away. Drop that right hand a little bit closer to the midline. Right foot out to the right, left foot out. Side plank on this side. Lift and lengthen, start here. And then start those arm sweeps, three each direction. And changing direction, going the other way. Come back to center, take those arm over the head, palm facing down, stretch out from the left ankle all the way through the left fingertips. And rotate back down to your tabletop. Turn your fingers out just a little bit. Take the arms wide and shift back to downward facing dog. Your first down dog of the day you can take your hands a little bit wider to open the space between the shoulder blades. Walk your dog out. And then coming back to center. On an inhale, take that right leg straight up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, back up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, back up. Last one on this side, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Come back, drop that foot down. Inhale, left foot up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale up. Last one, warming up the core. Knee to nose. Back up. Drop that foot down. 
pedal out a little bit here, rock the hips side to side. On an inhale, take that right leg straight up and back. Bend the knee, open up the hip. You can come up on the right fingertips, way open wide, and then sweep that right foot out to the outside edge of that right hand. Drop that back knee and come into lizard pose. So you can keep that back knee off the floor if you want a little bit more, you can hang out here. And take this with the foot flat and the knee directly over the ankle. So instead of rolling to the outside, we're gonna stay upright. Five deep breaths. Maybe you come down into your forearms, maybe you don't. Maybe it's early and your hips are not quite ready for that. Then palms underneath the shoulders, lift that back knee up. Step back to downward facing dog. Switch sides, left leg straight up and back, bend the knee, open up the hip. Up on the left fingertips, big stretch here. And then sweep that leg to the outside of your left hand. Foot stays flat, knee comes down on the right side. Take a few breaths here. Don't think of this as the deepest poses you will get into all day. Think of this as setting the tone for your day and setting mobility for the day overall. Research has shown that what you do first thing in the morning, whatever you do to mobilize tissue in the morning, will ultimately result throughout the day you far being, being far more flexible, mobile, open. Your movement changes. One more deep breath. And I find in the morning it feels good to be a little patient with the body. Palms underneath, lift that back knee up, Step back to downward facing dog. Walk your dog out. And come back to center on an inhale. Take that right leg straight up and back. Exhale, sweep it all the way through in between your hands. Drop that back knee, low lunge. Stretch up through the fingertips and drop the hands to your heart. We're gonna twist here. Take that left elbow on the right knee and twist. Last deep inhale and exhale. Drop those hands down. We're gonna do a little pyramid action here. So lift that back knee, start to rock back, straighten out that right leg, rock forward into a lunge, and then back into pyramid. The knee doesn't have to get completely straight. We're just gonna kind of warming up the hamstrings and the hips. Runner's lunge, back to pyramid one more time. Runner's lunge, lengthen, exhale, straighten. Bend the knee, palms down, step back to downward facing dog. Walk your dog out or stay still. And then come back to center. On an inhale, take that left leg straight up and back. Exhale, sweep it through. If it doesn't make it, grab hold of that ankle and drop it down. So you can put that foot in front of you and come up into your low lunge. Reach up through the fingertips, get a nice long spine here, and then exhale, hands to heart, twisting to the left. Right elbow on left knee, and twist, five deep breaths. You should begin to feel a little bit of fire in your core, a little more heat growing through the body. Exhale, hands back down, lift that back knee. Straighten out the left, pyramid pose. Inhale, runner's lunge. Exhale, pyramid. Runner's lunge, nice and slow. Pyramid pose. Two more, inhale, runner's lunge. Exhale, pyramid. And last one, inhale, runner's lunge. Lengthen out through the crown of the head. Exhale, straighten out, bend that front knee, step back to downward facing dog. Keep a little movement here. 
or stay still. On an inhale, bend your knees, look up at your hands, walk or hop up to the top of your mat. Big toes closer together. Come up halfway and lengthen. Half Uttanasana, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend your knees, sweep all the way up to the top, palms together. Exhale, hands to heart. Three half sun salutations, just to warm the body up. Inhale, palms up, little back bend. Exhale, arms out to the side, fold forward. Inhale, hands to shins or to the floor, lift up halfway. Exhale, bend your knees, fold forward. Inhale, sweep all the way up to the top. Palms together, back bend. Exhale, down. Two more just like that. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up to the top. Exhale, hands to heart. Last one. Nice and slow. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen, half forward fold. Exhale, fingertips down, fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up to the top. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep hands up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fingertips down, step that right leg back, ground the heel, settle yourself in here and come into warrior one. Five deep breaths. A strong heart opening pose. Face your day with strength, determination. Bring your hands to your heart. You're going to swivel that back heel around so you're in high lunge. Settle into this pose. Find your balance here. Lift through the core and then arms back up overhead. Exhale, hands around behind you. Interlace the fingers. Roll the shoulders back and then fold into humble warrior. Pressing down through the toes, engaging the core. Pressing through that back heel, lengthening the back leg, pulling the shoulders away from the ears. Fingertips down to the floor, step that right next to left, come up halfway, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep hands all the way up to the top. And this time we're going to drop that right hand down, left hand straight, straight up. Little half moon here. Stretching up through the left side body, looking over your right shoulder. Stretch a little further. And coming back to center, switching sides. Reaching up a little bit further, looking over that left shoulder. Inhale, palms together. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fingertips down. Step that left leg back. Ground the heel. Set yourself up here for warrior one. Sweeping arms up overhead. Five deep breaths. Palms to your heart, turn that back heel around, high lunge. Find yourself settled, tuck the pelvis under, just gently to kind of lift the belly up. Arms up overhead. Sweeping those arms back behind you, interlace the fingers, pull them away from the back, lift the heart, and then humble warrior over that right leg.
Release the hands down to the floor. Step that left next to right. Come up halfway, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep hands all the way up to the top. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep hands out. Little back bend here. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend that right knee, straighten out the left. Right fingers down to the floor. Left sweep up to the left, little twist. Straighten out that left leg as much as you can. Get an outer hip stretch. And then drop those fingertips down, switching sides. Left fingertips down, left knee bent, right leg straight, right arm sweeps up. Drop that right hand down, lift up halfway, lengthen. Exhale, palms down, step back into plank. Take two deep breaths here, pressing the mat away from you. Nice long plank. Engage the core. Then lower all the way down or drop down to the knees and come down to the floor. So walk the hands back a little bit, elbows up toward the ceiling. Inhale, up and back, cobra. Exhale down. Walk those hands out a little bit wide. Come up on the fingertips like cupcake fingers. Elbows to the sky. Inhale up and back for a little flow here. Exhale down. Inhale, look over your right shoulder. And down. Over left shoulder. And down. This time lift up, hold for three breaths. Last deep inhale and exhale. Lower all the way down. Rest your head on the back of your hands. Rock those hips side to side. Go ahead and take the hands underneath the shoulders. Come all the way up. Go ahead and shift into a seat. You're going to take that left leg out straight, flex the toes. I like to shift my heel out a little bit further for a twist. Take that right knee into the chest, foot to right to the inside of the leg. Lift up, wrap your arms around it. Think really long and strong here. Flexing the toes, pressing that back heel into the floor. Make sure the heel is grounded and planted. Then take that right hand around behind you. Hug that right knee into the chest with the left arm and twist to the right. On an inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. One more deep inhale and exhale, lengthen, twist. Gently come back to center. Twist to the opposite side for a little reverse here. Feel good to unwind the spine. Coming back to center, drop that right foot to the outside. So let that right knee out to the side. Right hand behind you, lift up into stargazer. Arm up overhead, chest toward the ceiling, palm facing up. Press that left foot into the floor, toes kind of reaching out. Come all the way down, nice and slow. Switching, right leg out straight, left knee to the chest. Press that heel into the floor, flex the toes, sit up nice and tall. And then when you're ready, take that left arm around behind you. Right elbow grasps hold of that left knee. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist.
One more breath, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Come back to center, little counter twist. Drop that left knee out to the side. Stargazer on this side, left hand back behind you. Right toes out, right arm up, palm facing up. And back down. This is where we're gonna make use of that blanket. So we're gonna take a little supported fish here. Come down onto your roll blanket. Roll yourself where the shoulders barely touch the floor. Bottoms of the feet together, arms out to the side. We're in a cactus position. Settle your breath. Return back to that inspired day that you were thinking of. Connect to your heart space. Are you an uplifting attitude? A positive, compassionate, bright look out on the day. As well as to your kidney meridians, helping recharge your day and energize you Keep your energy in balance. If you want to, you can move those arms up a little bit higher overhead as long as the arms are completely supported by the floor beneath them. Very gently start to slide those feet out and just take fish pose here, letting the chest lift, your breath be deeper and fuller and richer. Gently start to bring those feet flat, knees bent. You're gonna press through the bottoms of the feet, lift the hips, shift that blanket off to the side. Walk the feet wide, drop the knees together. Take one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Tuck the shoulder blades underneath for Shavasana and just settle in to your breath, to your intention, checking in with your energy and your outlook. Today is going to be an inspiring day. You're going to live this day inspired. Just repeat this to yourself a few times. Maybe even letting yourself smile. If you have more time to spend in Shavasana, I urge you to spend as much time as you have. But if this is the limit of the time you have, 
Go ahead and start to walk your feet a little bit closer together. Go ahead and grab those knees, hug the knees into the chest. Maybe do some little circles to the left and right a few times. Give yourself a lower back massage. Start the day off feeling good. And then when you're ready, go ahead and roll over to your right side. Take a breath or two here. And then press up into whatever seated position you like best. Keeping your eyes closed or open, hands, palms up onto your knees today. Lifting the heart, rolling the shoulders back. Feeling like a superstar. On your next exhale, drop those fingertips down to the floor. Inhale, sweep the palms all the way up overhead. Open your eyes, look up at those palms. Exhale, hands to heart. Peace and namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for this Yin-inspired morning practice. I hope you have a Yin-inspirational day that you feel fabulous all day long, that your energy is balanced and positive. Come back to this practice whenever you're feeling like you need that little boost for the day. If you liked this practice, please like and comment down below. If you are not a subscriber, please click that subscribe button over to your right to join me each Thursday morning for a brand new practice every single Thursday. And if you would like to see more practices like this and others, ones that extend longer, shorter, or the whole gambit, then join me on theyogaranger.vhx.tv. That's my member site. We have live calls each month, a private Facebook group, a community, lots of extras on there, exclusive videos every single week, as well as these videos on YouTube without ads. So you lose some of that advertising stuff. Pure yoga all the time. So it is a seven day free trial. Wow, it must be Monday. A seven day free trial. Check it out for seven days. See if it fits what you want to do. And I hope to see you there. If not there on the member site, I would love to see you back here on YouTube. Have a wonderful week.